Accept call. Yes? Hey, Howie. It's me. Nice to reach you at last. How are you doing? What is it, Chris? <laughs> well, I'm fine too. Thanks. Listen, I just wanted to call. What's the matter? Ah, sorry. I guess you're calling to hear how the trip went. Yeah, if it suits you. Or should I call back later? No, no, no. It's okay. Later won't make any difference. That doesn't sound good. Is there something wrong? <sighs> okay, listen. You better tell me now. If you insist. Well, I'd hoped that some days off would be inspiring for you. Was it so bad to visit your hometown again? How long has it been now? 30 years? 42. So, you are the one that suggested your client to go back to his hometown, right? Yes, I... Why shouldn't I have? He was having some kind of creative crisis. I thought it might give him some new ideas. And he should reconcile with his family. How could I know it would all turn out like this? Was he at odds with his family? I guess so. He hadn't had any contact with them for... as long as I can remember. Go on with what he said. He described how he felt when he arrived there. Said something about... a shadow that was hanging over the town. Some paralyzing shadow. No man deserves to live over there. These days. Huh? Howard, please, don't get me wrong. As your agent and your friend, I've always been there for you, and I always will. I know, I know. You haven't been hitting the bottle again, have you? <laughs> I was expecting that. I, I just. you know. Yeah, it's alright. I know how crazy this muscle sound. Okay, Mr. Nice Guy. We understand that you want to present yourself in a good light. Caring, being his friend and all. What do you know about how strong our friendship is? If Howard were only here, he would tell you that we are... But he isn't. And from the looks of it, he never will be. We will find out if you have something to do with his disappearance, trust me. So, go ahead with your story. I could feel how he was becoming more and more confused and frightened. The town... It looked totally abandoned. As if nobody was living there anymore. The houses were falling apart. Windows were barred or broken. They were staring at me like... Empty eyes. The only living thing were rats running across the street. Rats? Huh. Sounds like the place has really seen better times. What happened there? The whole atmosphere. It was stifling. And somehow hostile, if you know what I mean. You mean to tell me that your client didn't know that the town had been abandoned for a few decades? What? We have been there and checked it out. No work, no money, no people. It's as simple as that. Why would he be so surprised? He had cut all ties with his past long ago. I guess he just didn't know. Neither did I. But he said... It was not abandoned, not completely. I was wandering through the streets, you know, aimlessly, till I heard this mumbling of voices coming from somewhere. And I ended up in an alley leading to the old church. You know, what the weirdest thing was? What? In all this decay, only the church and its surroundings were in good condition. <laughs> well, well, maybe it was the hand of God protecting the holy property. <laughs> well, when I got closer, I noticed a gathering of people, and it looked like a sermon. 
Yeah, but her voices, they were so inarticulate, almost animalistic. This is starting to sound really strange. Did you recognize anyone? Could you tell who they were? From a distance, I couldn't even tell what they were. You know what I think? I think you're a liar. I don't know. You're making this stuff up for some reason. There was nothing, no weird people, no nicely maintained church, just a dead and abandoned town. I am just trying to- Stop lying to us. I don't know what you're up to yet. Maybe you are just trying to send us down a false trail or simply discredit your friends. I would never do that. Listen, I think you don't fully realize the situation you're in. You're the last one who talked to him. Now he's missing. Clearly you are lying about his hometown. I am just telling you what he told me. Easy, easy. I just want you to understand that making up all this stuff won't help you in the end. It won't help you, okay? I am not making anything up. Those were his words. Your choice. Go on. I asked him if the people he saw there, if they were, if they looked deformed, inbred or something. I wasn't sure. But I needed to find out the fate of the town, so I had to walk up to them. The moment they saw me, they fell silent, as if I was an intruder. Well, weren't you one to them? I mean, kind of? Maybe. But it was more like no outsider. They had to visit the town for ages. Okay, so you got their tourism industry up and running again. Oh, Chris. You can't imagine how they were looking at me with eyes wide open, almost hollow. They never blinked. It was as they were staring right into my soul, trying to tear it apart. Very illustrative, I have to admit that. That's exactly what he said. I know it sounds crazy, these bizarre people he encountered. I wondered if maybe they were just suffering from a disease or something. They did have their heads covered for some reason. But I got the feeling they weren't aware of their dreadful appearances. Did you try to talk to them? Did you? Well, I was able to talk to the priest, but I was very difficult to understand. And it was so hard to keep looking at him without showing my disgust. Well, what did he say? Well, not much. Nothing about what happened to the town. No, I got the impression that they weren't bothered by it. You know, it was like, like it always used to be. They seemed completely indifferent to their way of living. Okay, what can you tell me about this? It's a sketchbook. Right. The sketchbook you stole from him. I didn't steal it. I already told you. We have each other's keys. When I couldn't reach him again after our phone call, I went to his house. But he wasn't there anymore. Yes, I took the sketchbook with me, but... With all those drawings in it, which nobody has ever seen before, it must be rather precious, right? What do you mean? I think you know exactly what I mean. Okay? Anyway, all that nonsense about those degenerates. <laughs> you really want me to believe that the last drawings in his sketchbook are true? I don't know. I hope they're imaginary. But given the way the conversation went... 
there was such hostility aggressiveness coming from them man it was so, it became so strong that i feared they were going to attack me unfortunately by now i know the horrible reason why they didn't hold on wait a second I, i'm not sure if i understood you right but you said they were aggressive very sick and behaving strangely right now don't think i'm being foolish you know i don't believe in conspiracies but if i didn't know better it somehow reminds me of the rumors about those field trials in the 1970s where some towns were involved first monsters now myths you really don't leave anything out do you i was thinking about it too and i wonder if there were just rumors are you kidding if it had really happened it would be an outrage that would mean all the media had lied to us would it have been the first time that story about the field trials you say your client really believed it i think so well, after what i've seen i can only say that it all fits together okay what now then are you going to tell the authorities <laughs> and the authorities and they were responsible for it are you sure you're not getting carried away with all this stuff just a little bit Oh, those eyes. Chris, if you only have seen those eyes. Hey, I understand how you must feel. But what if you got it wrong? Maybe just sleep on it. Sleep. I haven't slept since I went there. Hmm. I'm just relieved I got out of there. Well, if it's all as bad and horrible as you say it is, I wonder why did they let you go? After all, I'm in my hometown. And I promised to come back. What? Whatever for? Why would you ever do that? They are mainly eating insects. I, I, I'm sorry? Those people are really in trouble. The ones who didn't want to follow that new cult. People, businesses. One by one left. Meaning what? Are you going to open a supermarket there now? Or what? I will bring them what I haven't had for a long time. Bread. Oh my god. It's the only way to put an end to this. So, you want to drive all the way out there every day? <laughs> every week? One time will be enough. Now what are you talking about? I got to stop it, Chris. I got to stop this evolution of depravity once and for all. Evolution of depravity. I have to poison them. What the it's, Are you out of your mind? It's the only solution. You must be kidding me. I will try to get out of there in time before the first one dies, but so, you want to convince me that after seeing monsters in his hometown, he went back there to kill them? I'm not trying to convince you of anything. That was the plan he told me about. He trusts me, I mean... And it looks like he paid a high price for that. What do you want to hear from me? What about the truth? For God's sake, we are not as dumb as you think, you know? What are you talking about? Well, we looked into your financial situation and, surprise, you are deeply in debt. So what? I'm sorry, is that a crime? <laughs> of course not. We are just putting the pieces of the puzzle together. You needed to pay your bills, were broke and desperate. So you went to visit your crazy little client, overpowered him, took his private sketchbook and were going to sell it. This grotesque material should sell very well, right? All those delusions and hey, much more money if the artist is dead. You killed him. Isn't that so? That's ridiculous. Why would I have called the cops then? Why would I have given them his sketchbook? 
You don't know how often this happens with criminals who think they are smarter than us. It's simply not true. We had a telephone call. He hung up on me. I tried to call him back, but he didn't answer. So I drove over there to find out what was going on. But he wasn't there, and I was scared he had gone to carry out his plan. So I called the police. And now I'm being accused of murder? This interrogation is over. A colleague is coming to pick you up in a few minutes. Oh, shit. What the fuck, Howard? What happened there? What happened? There is no other way, Chris. Trust me. This is the crazy... Check out my sketchbook, and then you'll understand. Howard, I can't call you. Howard. Sorry, brother. 